As the empire boomed, its neighbors became very. A growing tiger gorged itself on the prey that it deems most vulnerable. Some dreaded the looming war and prayed that their fears were unjustified. Others prepared for it. The kingdom of Tambralinga, a vassal of the great Srivijaya and Thessalocracy, felt particularly threatened. The empire was surrounded by hostile neighbors, and conflict was imminent. It seemed that the only thing left to question would be who would strike first. Suryavarman was wise enough to know that passivity would only lead to disaster. The various Burmese kingdoms to the west of the empire behaved with hostility, but a potential ally lay beyond. The Cholas, a powerful dynasty based in the south of the Indian subcontinent, had interests that aligned with those of the Khmer. Dispatching a diplomatically skilled envoy laden with gifts could be enough to convince Rajendra Chola that an alliance with Suryavarman would be to his liking. The road west is perilous. You may have your pick of as many of my troops as you can afford to pay with the gold that I have given you. Infantry is yours, my lord. This must be a force to accompany you on your journey best. We have the men beneath, onwards. The best has been repaired for us. is not fit to sail. These scouts will help you find another way to cross the river.
With these ships, we will seize Don't control need. of the water and send any enemy vessels to the bottom of the river.
bad. An enemy outpost lies to the west. I would advise you to take the southern route. Chomjol. Batin. Chomjol. Batin. Batin. Chomning Dove. Batin.
Despite the hardships of the journey through hostile territory, the diplomatic convoy arrived in Chola lands largely intact. Rajendra Chola was pleased with the gifts that the envoy lavished upon him. Especially impressive was a grand chariot, a work fashioned by the finest craftsmen in Angkor. Generous offerings and well-chosen birds go a long way for the magnanimous ruler. A bargain was struck, and the envoy returned to Angkor, harbinger of present news. <laughs> 